So you're feeling much better after getting a platelet-rich plasma injection to treat arthritis. And whether it's for your knee, your hip, your shoulder, or your ankle, you're happy you can start being more physically active without being in pain. But you've also heard you may need additional PRP treatments in the future to make sure the pain doesn't come back. So are these PRP booster shots really necessary? And when is the best time to get them? Let's look at what the data shows. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Pang here. Now, if this is the first time you are watching one of my videos, my goal is to help each and every one of you live a healthy and active lifestyle. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel. PRP injections are an exciting new treatment option for orthopedic conditions. We use it to treat problematic conditions involving the bones, muscles, tendons, ligaments, and joints. And clinical trials continue to show that they are an extremely effective way of treating pain and reducing symptoms, especially when it comes to arthritis. But it's important to remember that no injection lasts forever. Eventually, the effects of PRP will wear off. So the answer to, are PRP booster shots necessary for arthritis is yes. Think about it this way. If you have high blood pressure, your doctor will recommend a medication for you to take every day to control your numbers. And while you are on these medications, your blood pressure is very well controlled. But if you ever stop taking them, your blood pressure will start to go up again. And then you will be at risk for cardiovascular disease such as strokes and heart attacks. So we need to think about chronic orthopedic conditions such as arthritis in this same way. We need to regularly dose or administer PRP to help manage the the underlying arthritis long term. And so by doing so, we can try to keep the internal environment of the knee as healthy as possible. This will prevent the buildup of inflammatory markers inside the joints and prevent severe pain and symptoms. So then the next question is, when is the ideal time to administer a PRP booster shot? We want to make sure we choose a time before the knee starts to feel bad again, ideally right before the effects of the first treatment starts to wear off. So now let's look at the data. How long can we expect PRP to provide pain relief? When it comes to knee arthritis, most studies suggest that people will get up to one year of pain relief. This is specifically for those with mild to moderate arthritis. Those who have severe arthritis also seem to get pain relief, but the effects may not last as long as one year. This study was a systematic review that looked at 79 different studies with over 8,700 patients. They wanted to know among the various types of injections we use to treat knee arthritis, which one provides the longest and most sustained pain relief. And they found that PRP demonstrated the most prolonged pain relief relative to the other injection types, with the lowest pain score of all groups measured at final follow-up. PRP also showed the lowest Womack scores at final follow-up one year post-injection. And just to be clear, Womack scores measure pain, stiffness, and function with lower numbers being better. So the PRP group had the lowest scores at the one year follow-up. Now let's look at hip arthritis. This study was a systematic review and meta-analysis looking at injection treatments for hip arthritis. They found that PRP is reported to have the highest rank for pain relief for up to six months. Now it's important to point out here that there were not enough studies. In fact, there was only one that provided long-term data on outcomes for PRP injections for hip arthritis. So all we can say at this time is that PRP can provide symptom relief for at least six months. So what can we conclude from these studies. People with knee arthritis can expect one year of pain relief, while those with hip arthritis can expect six months. And until more studies are done, we currently don't have enough data to know what happens after these time periods. So what I tell all of my patients is that they shouldn't wait until symptoms return before seeking treatment. By then it might be too late and they might need more intensive treatment to control their symptoms again before getting back on maintenance therapy. And that's why most doctors, including myself, currently recommend a PRP booster shot at around one year for knee arthritis in between six months and one year for hip arthritis. It's better to be proactive with treatment rather than reactive. This is called maintenance therapy. And the goal of maintenance therapy is to control arthritis and not let it flare up to cause symptoms. Now, I also want to point out that PRP is only one modality we use to treat arthritis. It's extremely important to take a multimodal approach when it comes to arthritis. So if you have knee arthritis, arthritis or you have hip arthritis, you'll want to check out these videos next because I talk about all the treatment options that I recommend most. Thanks for watching.